So, hello everyone. It's my first time in Czech Republic, so I'm really pleased to meet you. I'm Jonathan Pinocchi, French, born and raised in France and now living in Dublin. So I love the sunny weather of France for the rainy weather in London. Um, I'm customer success, so I'm meeting lots of customers and seeing how they are using Slack. And most of the time they are looking at me and be like, okay, but you at Slack, are you using Slack, your own product? And it's a good question because we are living in it, so we are using it every day. So I wanted to share with you today some of our tips and how we are using and simple things that you could apply like tomorrow. So I like the talk of, uh, of Benze and I wanted to retake a little bit the uh, idea of uh, our world before Slack and how we are using that now. So let me introduce Ron. He's a really good friend. Some people are saying that he's like me but without the beard. So I'm keeping the beard now. Um, Ron is really happy because he's moving from London to San Francisco. Cool story. So happy with that. Problem is that in his expense tool, which could be something like Concure, everything is in pounds and not in dollars. So it's quite an issue for him. Like, just like, how do I do my expenses now? He's not really knowing how to do that. And the problem, and in our previous world, like without Slack, it would be the same as Ben said. I would be sending an email to the right person, if ever I know the name of this right person. Or if I don't know the person, I would try to get a distribution list. Lots of people impacted. And, uh, and lots of issues. Like, what is the process exactly? Where is the problem? Um, and the one that I prefer is someone that must have failed that before. Like, in Google, I would be like looking directly, like, how, how to change my expenses. But here it's not possible. And that's the problem of Rob. On the other side, we have some people that are dealing with this tool, this issue. And also on their side, the question is, is it treated? Is it urgent? Um, am I the only one working on the, on, the, on the problem of Rob? Do we have anyone else working on parallel on this problem? And uh, are we treating everything? I mean, Ron is having an issue today, but are we missing other issues? Are we missing other problems? And that's a problem that I've seen with eBay. So now, oh, that's my friend Ron when he has an issue. Like he's not even checking how to fix it at some point, just throwing everything away, and that's it, no problem. I will expense everything in parts. <coughs> it will be easier. So I've got a video that is really American. I know that I'm filming, but uh, it's really American, but I love it. So let's see if we have the sound. We don't have the sound connected. They asked me and I said, I don't have sound. So I guess nobody has sound. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Do, 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 and I don't have it. Let's go back to our delight. Email Carl, but if it's about something more than a year ago, check with Zoe instead. If, I know exactly where to go if you need help. If you need a performance report, email Carl, but if it's about something more than a year ago, check with Zoe instead. If you have a question about the numbers, ask Ian, but Sash can help with something about the website. Or Samir, if it's the mobile website, but he rarely checks his email, so walk over to his desk. Carrie answers questions about the existing customers, and Casey handles the new ones. Maybe it's the other way around. And that's just for the US. For Canada, you have to talk to Kurt, Melanie, Jan, Mitchell, Lori, and Rose. In exactly that order. I told you I'm French. I watched it several times to understand what he was saying. <laughs> <laughs> so if you did not get it, it's fine. <laughs> um, thank you. So it's exactly what I said before, in 30 seconds. Um, how can we do that with Slack? It's a little bit big. Okay, here on the top left, we have a help finance channel. Okay, so if I'm wrong, 
I'm just looking for this L Finance channel. Once in it, I start from here, it's Kelly. She's asking the question, exactly the one that I described. Important element is at the beginning, as you can see, there is a blue circle. That is the emergency. So blue means medium emergency. Must be treated between like a day or two. Red, super urgent, white for information. As soon as we have the question, someone will claim the point. I'll be like, I'm working on it. I don't need to send an email to multiple people to say I'm working on it, just reacting with the eyes. So it's really nice because me in the channel, I can go and look just who reacts with that, who say I'm treating this point. Then we have the discussion. Like they are discussing about the answer how to fix it. And finally, we have the white check, saying, it's fine, it's treated. That simple, just some internal codes that we have. Where it starts to be really cool is that we have here a bot that is checking this request in the channel and be like, okay, Kina, so the one in charge actually of, uh, of the channel, there is one trash request that is not looked at. And please do your work on that. Because the bot is just looking at the uh, emergency and how many of them are looked at, how many of them have been treated. That's it. That's really complex. But saving so much time. Okay? So I wanted to show a bit of tricks like that. And uh, some of them you will master them, others a little bit less. Um, and then we'll have lot of that will be showing you advanced stuff, especially on developing the apps. So for the, the, for the one that knows really well Slack, it will be at the end that you, you will know how to develop it. So a few tips. The status. So you know these ones. Like by default, you can inform your team that you're working from home, that you're sick, or you're on vacation. All of these things are quite easy. But now, let's imagine that there is an incident. During an incident, our team is taking roles. So you will have the captain of the incident, the focus point. We'll have the one on Twitter, answering to questions that are coming on Twitter. The one answering or managing the desk, where we have our tickets coming. Like lots of roles. So as soon as we have an incident, there will be a message in channel, new channel created, incident, and everyone is taking the role. So I'm claiming the role. Exactly as we have the eyes, I'm claiming the role. So for Twitter, we'll have a, the bird of Twitter, the logo, and means that this person will be supporting Twitter. If we need more people, more will be supported. And as soon as they claim it, they update their status with the bird. Then I'm the one in charge of, uh, of Twitter support. So it's a little bit advanced here. So you know for the PTO, the idea is to have exactly the same with um, uh, an incident. On the right, quick tip, but the do not disturb functionality, quite nice, and to be enjoying the vacation is really cool. Here, as you can see, it was before 24 hours that you, were, uh, you had the possibility to be on the do not disturb. Now it's a bit better, you can set the, uh, the date when you want to come back uh, to work. Let's continue with some uh, quick tips. I love this one. Um, you know, we entered the era of agility, like scrum, scrum meeting, lots of agile, 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 agile. Like, we do lots of stand up meeting, gathering everyone in a room. Maybe you're like me, sometimes you're just listening to the other and be like, oh, I hope that it will be soon my turn, I will say my thing, and then up, oh, it will be to the next one, and I don't care to listen to the others. So sometimes it's that. I'm not saying that all of the meetings are like that, but how can we speed up this? So we have lots of stand-up channels. So my team is international, so we could not even do a stand-up meeting all together in a room. And so for a quick way, we are having this stand-up channel where we have a Slack bot remembering us every week to share one success, one challenge, one priority for the week. And everyone is coming and just posting three lines. So it's fast, and you go, you look at it, like the Japanese guys they will do it before you, you do it whenever you want in Europe, then the America, uh, it, it will come later. 
And it's really fast to look at one element through all of the, uh, the messages of everyone. We have a, another one now that is the thing that you learned this week. And so I love this one because I'm just looking at everyone, like what they learned, and I'm, I'm, I'm getting quick things. Um, the post feature is a new feature that we have implemented, and it's allowing you to have people editing it. So for meeting, minutes of meetings or meetings preparations, like we are creating this post, putting everything in it, and like after the meeting saying, if you want to edit it or continue on the post, like feel free to use the app on it. We continue. I, I reduced the number of tips to fit in the time, but I uh, wanted to show you the main one. Um, as you've seen with the introduction, like the naming convention is really important for us. So the help Slack or Slack help, like help dash, the tool, the uh, project dash. Um, so each time that we want to have something really clear, we are creating these channels and the naming uh, convention, and we follow it really strictly. So it's easy to find the information. Uh, then say, you were saying that for salespeople, for instance, being in Slack, it's not always useful, or for other people, uh, transparency is better. Uh, when I joined Slack, I discovered a whole new world, which is the sales that are not happening anymore. So for us, we have channel per account. So we would have the channel account dash Kiwi, where we work with a team. So if we are preparing a meeting like today, we will be working on it. And this is transparent. So if our colleagues are preparing a meeting, a similar meeting, I don't know, in Budapest, for instance, they could check on what we have done and like clone the presentation, adapt it, go fast. So it's easy to prepare a presentation, same for the industry. Like if you're working with the automotive industry, you want to see how they are doing in the US, you go in the channel, it's open. Leila mentioned Oracle, our biggest customer. Like, we can go in the Oracle channel and see how they are working over there. So transparency is really helping on that. And it's easy because we have naming conventions. So it's not for, uh, to everyone. Pinning important information. So in this channel, we have here a process or maybe a document that would be the reference for the channel. So we pin it. So for everyone, it's easy to, as soon as you enter a channel, to be like, what is a rule? Or are we working this channel? So we are just pinning the document. The ad mention, it's important, and um, I will show it a, a little bit later, but be careful with the uh, too much of ad mention. So you mentioned just a name for a specific thing, and not the ad channel when you have like 200 people in it, and they don't care about what you're saying. Uh, so, try to reduce the, the noise and to focus on the real uh, important people in it. The ad mention here is also working with groups. So, you can select a group of people, create a group, and select it, mention them, so they will be all informed of it. The search functionality. So, command F or control F, quick one. And you can search in your whole environment, your whole Slack. So, today, we can see that we can search the, in the messages, the channels, and also the document, which is quite handy. But our team is working on uh, evolution of that. Like, what if tomorrow you could be searching for intelligence, arti uh, artificial intelligence, for instance? Not the name of the channel, artificial intelligence, but maybe the list of people that are speaking the most about artificial intelligence. And so I can find uh, expert in this domain. Quite interesting. So we are working a lot on the search and to make you a, a really good search. Collecting feedback. So I shared that example because for me it was like a brand new use case at Slack. So I told you like in the channel we have the name, then the description saying here you need to use the, uh, the circles. And then it's always the same way. The priority, working on it, it is done. <coughs> I'm fighting a lot with that. Like to remind everyone to speak in thread and not like have really long discussions into, uh, into the channel. So if we want to treat a point, especially with a request like that, we work in a thread. 
Does anyone know this raccoon? Mm. Have you heard about that at Slack? So it's a, it's a fun thing that we have at Slack. So if someone is speaking in the wrong channel, like you go in Ed Finance and ask a question about something that has nothing to do with Ed, uh, Ed Finance, we put a raccoon. Mm -hmm. So we take the emoji and we put a raccoon on the person. So it would be a bit like this. You put your uh, user reaction with, uh, with a with raccoon. So it's a nice way to say, uh -huh, wrong channel. And if you're really nice with this person, like it's the first time, you can simply click transfer the message into the right channel, so they will have to, uh, directly the, uh, the info in the right place. So the raccoon is a cool one for us. Like do whatever you want. It can be an internal joke. Um, but it's really handy and it's a nice way to say not a good place. Keeping info, and here we start to look at more advanced use case. So Jira integration, we spoke about our partners, we have lots of partners. Um, so we are using a lot of this uh, integration and we are working directly on it. So if you really something or if there is an issue, you want to create a ticket or whatever, um, we work directly into the thread and say, here is a problem, we need to work on that. At mention, I told you, we mention the person, we try to avoid the at everyone, that is mentioning everyone in your workspace, and sometimes it's not a good thing. So for some company, we are even like advising to deactivate it, um, <laughs> or to put really strong procedure on that. Um, Okay, let's finish with two use cases. So uh, I didn't want to show you right away the, uh, the platform and how you can develop on Slack because Lota will do really cool stuff. Um, I just wanted to show you two examples. No, 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 there's no sound this time. So it's easy. <laughs> okay, so I hope that you will see it properly. Um, so here, my idea was to show you how to work with an integration of a knowledge base. So at Slack, we are using Google. Um, but it could be whatever knowledge base, like Confluence, for instance, or, or, or other tools like that. Um, so here we have a channel that is called Proj Webinar. So I wanted to have a tool to deliver a webinar. So in the channel, I will simply ask Google. So I get my search directly into my, uh, into my uh, channel. So Google forward slash Google Webinar. That's it. And I have access to my knowledge base. Really empty. But where it starts to be really interesting is that here I can post it into the channel. And I can add mention Leila, for instance, to say, look at this one. This is a card about uh, having a webinar. So it, it's an integration, a simple integration of a knowledge base. This is an app on the catalog. So it's easy for you to look at the app available and to install it. Um, Lota will show you how to develop your own integration. And we don't want to see it twice. Okay, second, second one. Let's assume that it's not enough. And actually, it was not enough. Like what we had in our knowledge base was not enough. I had um, to ask for more privilege on my license to, the, to have a webinar. So here we have developed a really cool tool of integration with Jira. Um, so as you can see, we continue the discussion here. We are um, still having the card, the webinar FAQ. Uh, but apparently we need to upgrade our license. I will open a ticket. So how do I open a ticket with our support? Um, I could go like in help IT and create uh, the blue circle and say, I need to update my license, could you help, please, guys? But we have uh, something really more handy here. So we'll go forward slash help desk, hit enter, a great license webinar. So right away, I've got this pop-up coming. This is integrated with a tool like Jira, but I don't have to know it as an user. So I do the description, emergency. Um, I could add also where I'm working, what is my role or what is the issue exactly. And it will be triaged directly to the right person. So if I'm opening this ticket in Dublin, 
um, it will open directly the ticket to the IT support in Dublin, in Jira, and they will follow up in Jira. But if tomorrow we change, we're working not from Jira but from another tool, they could change it, change the integration, and we can follow uh, for other user, will be still doing the same thing. So let's see how it goes. Simply, I will submit it. I've got my help desk bot that is coming back to me, and I can follow up on the ticket. Okay? It's a really cool thing um, to create this, uh, this pop-up. Okay, conclusion. Um, I've just shown you a few tips on how using a little bit more Slack and how we are use, uh, doing at Slack. Uh, we've got way more use cases, um, but you need to keep in mind, as Ben Say was saying, uh, the philosophy, like search first. It's a bit like Google. If I'm asking the question on Google, there must be someone else that I have asked the question before. So we do the same in channel, search first. Uh, default to channel, so if there is no reason to go private, go public. Use naming convention to help everyone to find your info. So it's handy to find the info from the others, but you want also so the others to find your info. So continue to use the conventions. And um, in a tab, like refer to the process, and the process you can simply pin it into the channel. So for everyone knows, like in help IT, the process is like that. Is it clear so far? At the end, you can ask a question on this. Um, and now I think that it's a good moment to introduce Lota and how to build on, uh, on Slack. Thank you.